Now, this is a question from Venn diagram, right? So, in a party, 75% took T. So, how will we do Venn diagram question? We will draw these kind of circle, right? So, 75% took T. So, suppose this is a circle for T. So, this is 75. 60% took coffee. So, this is a circle for coffee. So, 60 took coffee and 15% took both tea and coffee. So, 15 will come this side, right? And coffee. No one is taking milk takes tea. So, there are people who are taking milk also, right? So, this is a circle for milk. So, what this is saying? This is saying that no one is taking milk takes tea. So, this is 0 and this is 0 because these are people who are taking tea also and they have given like there is no one who is taking milk and take tea also, right? So, this is 0. Now, we have to find how many person attended the party. So, first statement 50 percent took milk. If we know this one that in this we are having 50 percent who took milk, right? If this is 50, okay. So, can we find out how many person attended the party? So, if this is 15, so what will be this? This is 60. We don't know this. So, suppose this is A, this is B, right? So, this figure will be 16 minus 15 minus B. So, this will be 45 minus B, right? And we know A plus B is 50. So, A will be, let's reduce A. So, this will be 50 minus B, okay? So, they have given only this. So, how many people attended the party? So, even if we will add all these, so there is one variable B. Okay, so we don't know the value of B, so we cannot find how many people attended the party, right? So through first statement we cannot find. Now second statement, the number of person who attended the party is five times the number of person who took milk only, right? So this is saying now we considered fifty. Okay, now consider it as x, right? Because we have to consider only statement second. So, in this case, this will become x minus b, right? So, now, what the question statement second is saying, who, how many are attended the party? So, this will be 60 plus 15 plus 45 minus b plus b plus x minus b, right? So, these are the people who attended the party, right? So, this is equal to how much? 5 times, 5 times of number of person who took milk only. How many are took milk? x minus b. Right. So, even if we will solve this, this minus b will cut this b. Right. So, this will be, this is 60 and this will be 45 plus 15. This will be 60. So, this is 120. Right. Plus x minus b equal to 5x minus 5b. Right. So, this x will go this side. So, this will become 4x. We will take 5b this side. So, this will become 4b plus 20. So, we are having two variables. So, we cannot solve using statement 2 alone. If we are taking both, if we are taking both, then x will become 50. If we are taking x 50, so this will become 50 into 4. So, this will be 200. Right. If this is 200, then we can solve it. So, this will be 4b equal to 200 minus 120. So, this will be 80, right? So, B will be equal to 80 upon 4. So, this will go 20. So, B is 20, right? So, we got value of B as 20, right? So, we can calculate how many person attended the party, okay? So, by using both the statement, we can find out. So, the answer of this question will be option C.